apologize for the the words there, but that's a snippet from Bros starring Billy Eichner. It's the LGBTQ plus theme romantic comedy, as it's being dubbed, has been promoted nonstop on late night talk shows and in some media in recent weeks, but the film not living up to the hype, at least at the box office. In fact, this was the headline from Variety. Quote, why did Billy Eichner's bros bomb at the box office? Straight people aren't entirely to blame. It reads in part, quote, Billy Eichner's universal back comedy bros flopped at the box office during its opening weekend with a $4.8 million uh, bow here. About half of the $8 million to $10 million the studio had projected, uh, end quote there. Uh, Antonio Sabato Jr. joining us live here, highly acclaimed actor, producer, as well as the host of It's My Turn, LFA TV on Rumble. Good to see you, Antonio. Thanks so much for taking the time. Thank you. Just having yeah, it's a good to be with you guys. Thank you. Having a frank discussion about this, um, the film in general, but really the the director's response. And I'll, I'll show you this again, less than stellar, and just for you, everyone, to understand here. This is what the director said. He said, quote, that's just the world we live in, unfortunately, even with glowing reviews, great Rotten Tomatoes scores, an A cinema score, etc. Straight people, especially in certain parts of the country, just didn't show up for bros. And that's disappointing. But it is what it is. Um, some movies bomb. Some movies do well. But this mm -hmm. director's aiming uh, the blame, shifting that to, to straight people. Is that how this works in the business? No, it doesn't. I mean, these these people are completely lost their minds. That's why I, I love doing my podcast every day on LFA TV and telling the truth because this is a complete lie. Listen, the movie's a bad film. Also, they're blaming a heterosexual man. They don't want to see a guy kissing another dude. They don't want to see these kinds of movies. And also, listen, if it was that good, then people would have seen it. And all these great reviews. What were great reviews? Nobody talked about this film. The studio's putting it out there for one reason, one reason only, to put this woke agenda and try to push it on everybody. And, and we don't like it. Listen, if this is a free country, you do it, and the American people in this situation said what they had to say. They never went to see it. The gay, the gay community went to see it. I think there's there's room for, for every every type of film. I mean, entertainment business should be about exploring and reaching out and, and, and it's a way of, of, uh, of an art form, obviously, one of our oldest in, our, in the world, but right now to this propaganda is so in, in everybody's faces with our children, the future of our next generation, our country, and doing stuff like this that they have to they have to be put in the, into their place and go, you're doing something wrong and you're lying to the American people. Nobody went to see this movie because it's really not that good and nobody's interested. And that's just the bottom line. Yeah, yeah he didn't stop there uh, in terms of, of uh, calling out I folks mean, for this film. He said, if you're not, I don't, I don't know if we have the tweet, if we do, it'd be great. But if, um, if, uh, if we're not, well, this is something else, I guess he, this was yeah. put out. Disney Lion King actor wants Trump supporters to burn in hell. Um, and he's uh, went as far as to call folks homophobic, but he also even said, um, if you're not homophobic, go and see this film. Um, your thoughts on that and looking at this double standard point of view, someone able to obviously uh, chastise a certain group of people or, and then at the same time calling for everyone to go and see his film and being disappointed about it. Yeah, well, you know, that's what they do best. They try to change it around. It's like bullies, you know. They, they don't like it, so they just start pointing fingers and, and, and uh, degrading people and putting people down. That's what they do because they have nothing to back it up, no facts. Listen, God is in control. This country is the greatest country in the world, and uh, we're going to win the next elections. And people are waking up from this craziness about putting people in these boxes and, and, and changing people's minds. And I mean, look what they're doing. Every single day they're putting this agenda like, uh, and, and it's just, it's a fake agenda and it's really gonna affect the world and our country. So let's just stop right now and go, you know what? We gotta get back to the basics, love, country, family, and all that good stuff and all this people, and we're not homophobic. Yeah. I, 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 you know, I'm an actor. I played, I played characters sometimes. I, I play gay characters and then there's room for them. There's people that wanna see certain type of films and, and genres and that's just the way it is. It should be free. But if people don't wanna see it, now they're, you're blaming like, you're a Trump supporter, you didn't see it. The movie was a bad film. Nobody went to see it. And this woke agenda and these jokes and all the stuff they're trying to put, it's, it's serious to us. We have a different way of life. And um, and so we want to we appreciate our way of life. Respect ours, we respect yours. 
Yeah, but it, stop with this. It, the tweet again. We just showed it as he went on to say, "If you're not a homophobic weirdo, go see this movie. Um, <laughs> go see <laughs> Bros yeah. tonight." Um, but you know, yeah. you know better than most here. It, this movie one doesn't have the star power, right? You don't have recognizable faces nationally, you know, A-list celebrities, I should say, in this film. The marketing yeah. wasn't there as well. They had a twenty There's million. There's a studio behind it. There's a sole studio behind it, and they're promoting, they're spending a lot of money on this film, and they're probably hoping that they was going to do something, you know? But, but again, it's, 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 it's a way of the mentality that we're bigger than you, we're going to put this agenda on you, God is no good, Republicans are bad, they're, they're terrorists, they're this or that, and we're going to survive, we're going to win these elections and control the planet, our border is open, fentanyl is coming here, our education system is going down the drain. These Hollywood folks are living in Hollywood, surrounded by trash, and garbage every single day. They're spending millions of dollars for homes and there's homeless people living in their backyard in their trash can. And that's right. No, no, we want to promote life, reality, and start, start stopping this illusion that they're trying to put into us. We're done with it. I mean, it's crazy. It's well, beyond crazy. There's also people that may not be able to go and afford a movie, so they wait for it to come out on the streaming services, too. That's also yeah. a, <laughs> another option that people don't think about. I'll let you go, and, and I know you have so many issues. You weigh in on your, your podcast um, that folks can listen to, but I just in, end on this. How has maybe the, the culture affected your life, affected your, uh, your career, and, and where you are today uh, in terms of the belief and what you stand for, you're obviously very outspoken about that. Yeah, I love God. I love Jesus Christ more than ever from the trials and tribulations I went to being blacklisted in Hollywood, being put on the toss line, you know, on the sidelines or whatever. And now I'm more open. God put me in here to, to reach a lot of people, to motivate people. We got to get off our behinds and start working hard, start appreciating life, start doing things that are a little bit out of the ordinary nowadays, go back to the roots of this country, why we made it so great. And that's why I'm so pleased to be part of LFA TV because we're here to make a change, reach people. And the next generation has to be a lot smarter. They have to read books. They have to know about the real history that happened in this country and in the world. And they have to be educated in a different way. So we're doing it like this, you know? That's and one way of doing it. And that is the way to do it. Antonio Sabato Jr. opening up here, talking to us live about it. We do appreciate that. Uh, hope, hopefully you'll be able to check in at a later date. Always good to Anytime. hear from you. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you.